The type of bleeding pattern experienced with HRT will depend on the hormones that are being provided. Women who've had a hysterectomy, so their uterus removed, are very unlikely to experience bleeding problems, although they may do from the vagina, particularly in women who have vaginal atrophy, which results from lack of estrogen affecting the lining of the vagina. Um, women who use Mirena, which is also licensed for contraception and to manage heavy menstrual bleeding, are less likely to experience bleeding problems and they can use an oestrogen preparation of their choice, so that might be a tablet or a gel or a patch. And for women who are overweight, the recommendation is to use either a gel or a patch because that doesn't increase the risk of them having a deep vein thrombosis. Women who are using either cyclical or continuous combined HRT may experience bleeding. It's not expected in women on continuous combined preparations, but it can occur. In women who are using cyclical preparations, then a withdrawal bleed when the progestogen part of the combination is stopped and they move on to the oestrogen only part is normal and expected. And that usually is a predictable bleed and a manageable bleed. Women who take cyclical or sequential HRT will experience normally a withdrawal bleed. As women get older, the recommendation is to move them to continuous combined HRT because that includes both oestrogen and progestogen continuously and provides better protection for the lining of the womb. The age at which that happens really depends on the individual circumstances. So for women who commence HRT within a year of their last menstrual period, we normally start them on sequential HRT. If we try to use continuous combined HRT too early, then the woman is more likely to experience annoying, unpredictable bleeding. As she gets older, this is less likely to be a problem. But when you change from one preparation to another, that there is always the risk of irregular bleeding. And it's helpful, I think, to explain that to patients so that they understand that it's likely to settle down over the next few months. Bleeding in the first few months of taking HRT is to be expected. It's not an indication that there's anything wrong. It's a settling in period. It's important that women are aware that in the first six months investigation of bleeding on HRT is not required. Women who experience irregular bleeding with HRT may have insufficient progestogen to suppress the lining of the womb. Um, it may just be an issue with um, adapting to hormones that are taken. Um, however, the reason for investigation is to exclude significant underlying causes, namely cancer, which is very unlikely in women taking HRT, less likely than for women who are not on pre preparations which contain a progestogen, but it's still very important to remember this and to consider investigating women who have prolonged uh, abnormal bleeding. Vaginal atrophy can also be a cause of abnormal bleeding, um, even in women on HRT. Um, so in some women, the vaginal mucosa is very susceptible to a reduction in circulating oestrogen levels. For women who have ongoing irregular bleeding on HRT, the easiest investigation is a transvaginal ultrasound. This is a relatively painless uh, procedure which can be done in an outpatient setting with the patient provided with an answer uh, immediately. The lining of the womb should be ideally less than four millimetres, it should be normal in appearance, and if it's thicker in appearance, then further investigations should be uh, arranged. Um, I think it's really important with ultrasound to acknowledge that this is a subjective investigation, and for some of those women in whom the lining of the womb would appear thick, they actually might have polyps. Um, so 
the best test really is out, is, is his, hysteroscopy, which can be done either as an outpatient or under general anaesthetic. That provides direct vision of the endometrial cavity, the inside of the womb. And if there was any abnormality detected, then an endometrial sample should be taken. Or sometimes we use uh, more salation, which is a way of removing tissue, provides a tissue sample that can be analysed by uh, the pathologist. If you have irregular bleeding on HRT, it may be an indication that the preparation that you're taking is not the one for you. I think it's important to acknowledge when women take oral medication that sometimes only a small amount of that hormone will reach the systemic circulation. And for those women, it may be better to consider delivery through the skin, um, either as a patch or a gel, and either with a morena to protect the lining of the womb or with a standalone progestogen.